So, hi, I'm Jeremiah, obviously, and I'm going to be presenting on some extended techniques on the viola, and I'm going to be mainly using um, Garth Knox. He's a contemporary violist and composer. He wrote this set of eight concert etudes for viola called Viola Spaces. And uh, so this is Garth Knox. He was born in Dublin in 1956, and he studied at the Royal College of Music in London. And he was most famously a member of the Art Eastern Quartet, um, who do like a lot of like really contemporary and crazy 21st century music now. Um, and but now he lives in Paris, does all this stuff there, and he's been doing a lot of things with the viola de Moore, which is really super cool, like old school instrument, uh, very different than this modern viola that we use today, but uh, still a really awesome instrument. He's like a really good player, really cool composer. So. Um, he wrote this set of eight concert etudes. This is the first one, or not the first one, the second one. Um, the first one I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about four of the eight. So the technique he uses in this one is all about um, soltasto. So we all know soltasto is like playing over the fingerboard, right? Over the wood, soltasto is what that means. So um, in this one, uh, the practice techniques he talks about um, in order to get this effect correctly is we want to like think flautando, you know, to imitate a flute. So he says we want to like mute, mute our strings, right? So just like sort of put your hand over there so they don't play, and then just get the sound. Like we want to increase the sound we have of bow and less of the sound we have of pitches, you know? So it's more like. And uh, one thing he first like realized about playing flautando like this is when you're playing on the outer strings, like A and C you run into the problem a lot of you're hitting the wood of the instrument, but then he was like, wait, that's not a bad thing. That creates a really cool sound, so he wrote it into the piece. So I'll play, I'll play it for you in a second. Um, but ghosts, he makes it's like a really ghostly sound where you have all this. Um, but then he also includes this sound. So you have two different sort of like unpitched tones, like sounds that you use. So there's that one, and then there's also this, but then obviously, like you can add pitches to it, like but C is like really thin, and it's it doesn't have like the core sound we normally go for. Um, so that's that's ghosts, and that's flautando. So this is Garth Knox himself, like playing them. besides your left thumb. That stays back here, but the rest of them, you're playing with all of them, yeah? So it's like, it's kind of interesting the way he uses like pizzicato. He talks a lot about um, trying to minimize extraneous movement. Like I know you see a lot of people like pizzicato, like an orchestra and stuff, where they'll be like But that's like way more work than you ever have to do for pizzicato. So this, this contrary attitude is all about like minimizing that and trying to like get like a really good sound with as little movement as possible. Um, but he uses a lot of really cool like other techniques besides just regular pizzicato. So one of them is sort of like strumming a guitar, um, and that, that's gonna work like this. And he talks about imagining you're using a bow, like this is your bow and you're just doing down bows, right? And then when you bring it up, it's like an afterthought. So that's like the one technique, and it, it like this is one of the coolest sounding ones in terms of just being able to listen to it and like it sounds like actual music, sort of, because it's like, it's like... So it's really, it's a really awesome piece. So like, he um, also has stuff about using like two fingers, 
So pizzicato, which is obviously twice as fast as if you can just use one, it takes a lot of work, um, but it, you can get your right hand to be as dexterous as your left, you know, in terms of moving your fingers really quickly. Um, so there's that. And then there's also, at the very end, he has this really cool flashy thing where he actually takes his left hand and, like, you hook your pinky around the scroll right there just to, like, anchor it, and then you have all of your fingers, like... And so you go from, like, really soft to like, really loud, but it's cool visually because you can, like, see, uh, like, going from really small to really big. Uh, so, yeah, and, oh, and then there's another really cool technique he uses, with, which is with his right thumb, and that's, like... It's like, it's pretty tricky to get, but like once you can like, I, I still haven't mastered it yet, but uh, it's, yeah, so those are like some of the techniques he uses in this one. So this one's really awesome to listen to, so I'll just let him show you.
Damn, that's a really cool song. I'll back for you. Like, all of the harmonics just like at once. So that's really fun. It's just like a fun sound to play to. So this guy's really cool. Um, and then last one I'm going to talk about is this one. It's the last one. And it's called Up, Down, Sideways, and Around. Kind of a weird name, but what he's talking about are the different um, planes of motion we can get with our bow. So um, up and down, uh, he uses this technique that's you just like sort of drop your bow, and you have to have like a lot of like practice with like finger strength on your pinky. So you like you sort of like like that, and he does it like in a really cool way. He like plays on both sides of the bridge like that. So. Uh, you, you get a, you'll hear it. You'll get a really cool sound. Um, so that's up and down, you know, because like normally we're really stuck using our bows just like this, but there's so many different ways you can do it. So that's like that's one of them. It's sort of like colenio, you know, but you're just using the hair. Uh, and then and then there's this other when he says sideways, what you sort of do um, is like it's a actual brush stroke. Like we talk about brush stroke in terms of like, sort of like spiccatoing, but like this is a brush stroke. Like you're actually like. Where it's like a brush, and it, it makes a really cool sound. So what you can do to practice that one uh, is he, he puts his hand up here, right? And then you use your pinky to manipulate the bow like that, and then just bring it down until you get it sort of like that. And you go all the way from like your fingers to your bridge, like get like really far out at the tip. So there you go. Uh, that's that one. And then uh, round. So that's sort of similar to sideways, but you also get like, it's like a circle motion. So it's like... So it's a mixture of like the unpitched tones and like you get a little pitch when you're going like this way of the round. So that's that's that one. Uh, yeah, and then he also uses like towards the end, um, sort of like ricochet, but it's all like letting the bow. It's all about finding like you gotta get your strings exactly parallel to the ground, and you find like the exact bouncy spot of the string and of the bow. So and it just sort of like like the bow. Bounces all by itself and does that cool stuff. So this is the last concert etude. And, and this one's so not about pitch, it's almost about like cool sounds. course of the etudes. Um, but he also has for each video um, uh, like how to play it video so he like goes through sort of what I did and like exactly how all the techniques are played and then also in addition he has a third video for each etude which is like a duet of the etude being played with like two people and so it's uh, really cool. Grand Max is awesome. Extended techniques is really fun. Uh, just like a lot of contemporary music. 